will be learning to make this shaky beat effect and we'll be doing that in a very simple way so you can see that i already have an audio layer inside my timeline and i also have a video let me drag this towards the right so that it gets added into our sequence and we'll be generating the shaky beat effect as soon as we have some beat in our audio if you look at the audio waveform you can see that there are a lot of beats in our audio and we'll be generating the shaky beat effect at every point in order to do that i'll first create a new item called adjustment layer this resolution is fine and i'll hit okay and i'll drag the adjustment layer onto the top of my video and let me zoom in a bit so i need only two frames of the adjustment layer so i'll click on the razor tool and cut the adjustment layer like this and then delete the rest i'll simply select it and hit delete key and then i'll select my adjustment layer and i'll go to the effects panel if you don't find the effects panel go to window and ensure that effects is checked and i'll type in directional blur you can see that we have the directional blur effect and i'll drag this onto my adjustment layer once you do that you can see that it has been added and i'll set the blur length to around 50 once you do that you can see that this frame is having some blur like this and I'll hold alt key on my keyboard and drag this to one frame forward and I'll select this and adjust it as soon as the you know as soon as there is a beat if we start playing this you can see that this is how it is going to look like so we'll have to repeat the same thing you know at every beat so i'll select this i'll hold alt key on my keyboard or option on mac and drag this so that you know it fits in properly i'll duplicate this multiple times wherever there is a beat if i start playing the video you can see that this is how it is going to look like So depending on how your audio is, you can tweak the adjustment layer, duplicate it multiple times or depending on your requirement, you can use two or three frames as per your needs. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up and see you guys next time with another tutorial.